Hi, I'm Kira Gaunt, now Kira Gaunt Palmer, and this is my first video blog, my first B blog. Um, yeah, I'm fixing my hair. My first opportunity to talk to you about um, this project I'm starting about um, great students, um, or actually the mission of higher education in the liberal arts and in the humanities, which tends to be written along the lines of the one at the school I most recently worked at. The mission of the humanities or the liberal arts is to create great uh, citizens, great human beings, and future professionals. I always amend that to say that might be the outcome, but I think it should be the beginning, where we start from, the starting point. So every day in class, for the last two and a half years. I have been starting every class with good morning great ones, or good afternoon great ones, or good evening great ones. And then I set the tone for the class from the very first meeting for that you are already great. Every college student needs this. Um, I found um, remarkable evidence from just this little practice that um, students never hear anyone else listen them as great. So it is very important for them to explore, predict, um, fine tune their reality around the true mission, if that's what we say we're out to produce in higher education, which is great citizens and great human beings and professionals now. So I start with good morning great ones. And I also find that my students sometimes come in and say, after I say good morning, great ones, they say, good morning, great one. And then we have a conversation within the framework or the context of being responsible as great citizens and great human beings to one another, to the space, and having a sustainable conversation and a sustainable classroom in which we are out to impact the world not just do the right homework, get the right answers, get an A, B, or C, pass the course, that it's about much greater things and that this class is a pathway to fulfilling on what truly matters to you in life. So that you can combat the complaints that students often have that um, their classroom experience has nothing to do with their life. So um, I've been looking at the Khan Academy TED Talk um, it took me a while to actually get to it. I've been a bit resigned um, this last nine months as I decided to leave academia. Ha, go figure. Um, so that I could lead a movement, a rallying cry for students. The six, there are 18 million currently enrolled college students in the United States at 6,500 institutions. And what's sad is that 44% of them, which is 7.9 million, the same number of people on Facebook are dropouts. That's the average from a few years ago. And I am committed to making a difference by coaching and sharing stories from my students in the last six years in particular, but all through my 12 to 15 years of teaching in higher education, from graduate school to now as an associate professor of, of uh, anthropology, ethnomusicology, and racism studies. And I'm committed that students get, that each, uh, not only students, but professors get, that each and every student in the classroom matters. And there's a way that you can teach and learn with some simple practices that could dramatically alter or flip the script of what's been going on in higher education classrooms. From the most boring lectures to the most vivacious personalities, they can all use the techniques that I'm after. But I want to start with students because students, I believe, are going to be the ones, students as adults, are going to be the one to transform higher education. It's not going to be curriculum changes in some academic faculty meeting where people decide there needs to be a new course on ethics or a new course on integrity or another requirement for whatever your major is. We need more majors in the humanities that are majoring in humanizing humanity. And there are ways and practices that the Khan Academy is doing that I've been doing also in my classes 
Um, and a lot of those techniques I stole from my experiences being on Twitter in particular, but also on Facebook. So um, I just gave a talk at the uh, 140 Edu conference back in New York City. I now live in Nashville. Um, just in case, since this is my first video, I should give you just a little background. So I taught at University of Virginia, NYU, private school, and at Baruch College, City University of New York, at one of the most diverse institutions in the nation with 160 student, students from 160 different nations and countries that speak over 110 languages. In a single classroom of 30 people, I could engage with the world through students who would probably be from at least 14 countries. So. Um, I've had a varied experience. I've taught hip-hop classes, racism classes, and anthropology classes. Um, and I have met the most remarkable people in my classroom, and I'm going to be telling those stories. So this podcast, this 